All right, what's up guys? Amelia back again, here to bring you another exciting theory on Dragon Ball Super. Today I'll talk about who the new villain could be for the upcoming movie. In the new Super movie trailer, we learned a few things about a new villain that will appear and know that the movie will take a deeper dive into the origin and potential of the Saiyans. So I will cover briefly the history of Yamoshi since his history will take a big role in this theory. So get ready guys, this will be exciting. This week we finally received a short trailer on the new movie for Dragon Ball Super which will take place after the Tournament of Power. I honestly thought that we were not going to get a trailer until Super ends this Saturday, but now that we got it, or at least a short version of it, I am tempted to talk about a theory I thought of. We know from the trailer that the movie will go over the origin of the Saiyans. We already know a little bit about the Saiyans and how their higher level of S cells can give them more potential in becoming Super Saiyans, along with who the first Super Saiyan God was from an interview Toriyama had a few months ago. But of course, we will learn more about their history. So as Toriyama mentioned in his interview, according to the Namekian Book of Legends, long ago, a righteous hearted Saiyan named Yamoshi fought against other Saiyans with five comrades. He was cornered and became a Super Saiyan, but was eventually defeated by overwhelming odds. So even though he became a Super Saiyan, he did not have enough power to defeat this mysterious opponent who was not named. Afterwards, his soul wandered in search of six righteous hearted Saiyans, where he became a Super Saiyan God. Shenron gave more of a backstory in the movie Battle of Gods, where Yamoshi was able to defeat the Saiyans but could not maintain his powerful God form for long. With Yamoshi gone, the remaining evil Saiyans were able to eventually take over planet Vegeta again. Beerus, later sensed Yamoshi's spirit in his prophetic dream, and long ago a Namekian elder likewise emphasized with his spirit, and so wrote about him in the Namekian Book of Legend, which is how Shinra knew about Super Saiyan God. So going back to Yamoshi having a restless soul, as far as we know, when you die in Dragon Ball, you go immediately to the afterlife. In the old Dragon Ball, if you are killed by a demon, you end up having a restless soul that cannot pass on to the afterlife. So from all the opponents and Saiyans that Yamoshi faced, did he end up losing to a demon that caused his soul to be restless? Well, let me give you my thoughts. Going back to the movie trailer, we see that Goku is fighting a Saiyan. This new Saiyan villain has no limits, which is what makes him even more tough of an opponent. He is also surrounded by a green key which looks similar to Broly or Kale Super Saiyan Berserker form except he has a more animalistic looking appearance and he also has yellow eyes which is something we have not seen in a Saiyan as far as Dragon Ball is concerned. Well okay we did see it in GT for Super Saiyan 4 but that is obviously a different continuity. So. It is possible that this ancient looking Saiyan could be more than just a Saiyan. Could this Saiyan possess powers that put him even above all the gods of destruction? Which could be the only way that he could even be a match for Goku. And if so, who could he be? Well, I don't think this fighter is Yamoshi, but maybe someone related to Yamoshi's past. This new villain could be a villain so terrifying that it will make Jiren look weak and will cause Goku to surpass his current limits. And I don't mean a new form guys, please no, we have had too many forms. I just mean a new level of power since characters can get stronger even if they have Ultra Instinct Master, like the angels. Anyway, this villain could maybe be one of the villains that killed Yamoshi or one of the evil Saiyans that conquered planet Vegeta after Yamoshi's Super Saiyan God form could no longer continue fighting off all the evil in planet Vegeta. And maybe this villain is not only a Saiyan, but also a Saiyan that wields godly or demonic-like powers. 
Before I sound too crazy here, let me give you an example. We all know that the Namekians are considered to be the lowest level form of gods, and Yamoshi's opponent possibly caused the soul to be restless, like when Demon King Piccolo caused all the opponents he killed to have restless souls. Not to mention how powerful this new villain must be if he can defeat or compete with the mastered alternate instinct Goku. So the question is, where will this villain come from? I'm sure there are many possibilities out there, so let me give you a few uh, ideas I've thought of myself. Maybe this evil Saiyan was one of the few Saiyans that left planet Vegeta long long ago, way even before Frieza destroyed the planet, and maybe the Saiyan is living in an exempt universe similar to how the Yardra ended up in universe 2 when he should have really been from either universe 6 or 7. Another possibility is this villain could have been hiding somewhere in universe 7 all along. Since Beerus and Whis did not have enough time to explore all the fighters for universe 7, so it is possible that more powerful foes could exist in universe 7. Or maybe, and this is a more crazy scenario, this Saiyan could have possibly traveled through time, which would explain why he has not been around. Like when Gowasu explained that someone from Universe 12 was able to travel through time in the manga, or in the anime when he explained to Zamasu that there was a mysterious character that traveled through time, creating a new time ring. Anyway, regardless on how this Saiyan managed to appear on Earth, let me tell you my theory. My theory is that this villain was the same villain that killed Yamoshi in the past. He will appear on Earth because he senses a similar power in Goku and Vegeta as he sensed in Yamoshi, and is wanting to destroy Earth and get revenge on all the pure-hearted Saiyans alive. The new villain could be an evil Saiyan god that corrupted the thoughts and souls of the original Saiyans, and now that he sees that all the Saiyans are righteous-hearted, he will want to change and destroy anyone that resembles Yamoshi, since his spirit was a major threat in the past. While the Book of Legends mentioned that Yamoshi defeated the evil Saiyans, it never said anything about destroying all of them, since he could not maintain his god powers for very long, which would also explain how this new Saiyan villain is still around, and possibly strong enough to beat Goku, since he witnessed God Ki long ago and has had so much time to train if he is indeed ancient. We will of course find out more after the last episode of Super this Saturday, and when we get more information I will certainly make another video. My theory could of course change depending on the new content they gave us, which is why I always make my theories for fun discussions and not predictions, because it is of course impossible to always predict what happens in the show next. And I've said this many times, that anything can happen in Super. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think that the new Saiyan could have been one of the evil Saiyans that killed Yamoshi and that took over planet Vegeta a long time ago? Do you think that this Saiyan will have godly-like powers since whatever killed Yamoshi in the past caused him to have a restless soul? Not to mention, this character would also need to be insanely powerful that it can even defeat or compete with the mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and the Gods of Destruction to even be considered a new threat. And, where do you think this villain has been all of this time? I am always curious to hear what you guys think in the comment section below. And remember, anything can happen in Super. So I hope you all have an awesome day, and I'll catch you next time. I will not let you destroy my world!